Unfortunately, it looks like the energy crisis is not yet over. According to official reports, the period from December 2022 to April 2023 is expected to be extremely chaotic and difficult. Possibly even going down in history as a winter from hell, the demand for fuel is surpassing the ability of the United States to produce enough supplies, and our energy systems are being strained to their limits. This could lead to some tough times ahead, as we'll see in today's video. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, all energy prices, including oil, oil-based fuels, natural gas, coal, and electricity are expected to reach historical highs in 2023. The International Energy Agency attributes this spike to geopolitical uncertainty and low inventories. The agency has also warned of upcoming shortages of fuels including gasoline, and has urged the government to take action to address the shortage of diesel and gas and prepare for potential power outages throughout the country. It appears that the energy crisis is not yet over. It is feared that 2023 could be even more challenging than 2022, when energy shortages caused prices to increase by almost 30% for households in the U.S and force businesses to reduce production to avoid high energy costs. The agency has warned that campaigns encouraging energy conservation will soon be launched. According to John Kemp, both domestic and international energy consumption is expected to reach a record high this winter, potentially leading to fuel shortages and power outages in many states. U.S. producers may not have the capacity to meet this increased demand particularly for diesel fuel for agriculture and shipping, or natural gas for electricity production. This is a problem that cannot be quickly resolved. According to Bloomberg, energy inventories are currently lower than the seasonal average, despite record levels of exports and around-the-clock operation of refineries. Analysts have stated that inventories are at the second lowest level for this time of year in over 12 years, and there is no indication that this will change. Even as energy prices increase, this does not bode well for the current trend of lower gas prices in the U.S., which is expected to bring financial difficulties for drivers. This aligns with predictions made earlier this year by Jerrigan Rosenberg, the head of an investment firm, who stated that U.S. gas prices will be similar to those in other countries by early 2023. He also noted that the majority of U.S. gas production comes from a few plants, with Marcellus and Haynesville alone producing up to 40% of the total, making this system vulnerable. Additionally, the Permian plant produces another 12% of U.S. gas, but recent data shows that the rate count in the Permian has decreased for two consecutive weeks. This decrease in drilling results in a decrease in fuel added to the national supply. Currently, there are issues with electricity production due to the shutdown of coal plants and reduced hydropower capacity due to droughts in various parts of the country. If winter is colder than expected, energy demand may increase further and power grids may fail. While this crisis is worsening, energy companies in the U.S. are exporting liquefied natural gas at record levels causing discontent among domestic consumers. The U.S. Energy Information Administration has requested that the government ensure sufficient energy for American consumers, suggesting a halt to the export of natural gas and fuel. From a consumer standpoint, the agency anticipates high prices for oil-based fuels and natural gas during the heating season. However, from the perspective of an exporter, the situation appears favorable. 
U.S. producers are now more focused on profits than on the impact on society, which is cause for concern in the energy market. The Michigan Public Service Commission recently advised propane customers to purchase in advance to ensure sufficient supply for the winter. The announcement noted that it is especially important for individuals to be aware of costs due to the significant increase in energy prices resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic and the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Propane, a natural gas liquid transported through the Straits of Mackinac by Enbridge Line 5, is used by over 65% of the Upper Peninsula for heating and hot water. Approximately 50 million homes in the United States use propane, with 5.8 million relying on it as their main source of heat. The energy crisis has also impacted alternative energy sources. As the U.S. continues to export supplies without ensuring sufficient domestic supply, gas prices have increased by 300% since a few years ago. When there was an excess of supply and prices were low, this significant price increase has ripple effects throughout the supply chain and economy. Irina Slav, an expert on oil prices, has noted that the recent decrease in gas prices was due to politics rather than restocking. Bank of America has predicted that oil prices will remain above $100 per barrel until 2023. If interest rates continue to rise as anticipated, the average price of a barrel of oil could increase by 28%. It is advisable to take advantage of low gas prices while they last. The energy crisis has led to issues with previously reliable alternative energy sources and the export of supplies without sufficient domestic inventory has contributed to the continuation of energy-driven inflation. In the past few years, fuel prices in the U.S. have increased by 300% from the time when gas was abundant. This price increase has a domino effect on the supply chain and economy. Oil price analyst Irina Slav stated that the recent decrease in gasoline prices after reaching $5 in June was influenced by politics rather than an increase in inventory. Bank of America predicts that oil prices will remain above $100 per barrel in 2023. If interest rates continue to rise, it is possible that oil prices could increase by 28%. Diesel, gas, and heating oil may just be entering their more challenging time of the year, he said. The Energy Intelligence Group has issued a concerning warning, stating that historians may refer to the period from December 2022 to April 2023 as the winter from hell. The group noted that the energy system is already at its breaking point and there is no extra capacity in the sector. High temperatures and increased electricity usage have led to a demand for more natural gas, causing a switch back to coal where capacity and supplies still exist. Both large and small consumers are seeking to switch to diesel or distillate when possible, but refineries are already operating at maximum capacity and have no extra room. Policymakers have yet to find a solution to this significant issue, which could have disastrous consequences, such as government intervention in the energy market, similar to the events of 1945. Mid economist Philip Furlack, who works with the group, stated that energy prices have already heavily impacted U.S. consumers this year, but an International Monetary Fund economist report warns that budgets will be even tighter in the coming months. It is anticipated that fuel price increases will result in households spending between 7% and 10% of their income on energy in 2023, a 50% increase from 2017. This winter, due to increased geopolitical tensions, the U.S. will have to provide additional fuel to the rest of the world. European and Asian buyers will compete for U.S. gas exports and have to contend with South American buyers for U.S. distant fuel oil. Companies exporting gas from the U.S. will also face competition from domestic customers. 
These factors may lead to significant fuel price increases in the U.S., particularly due to low inventory levels. There is a lack of warning in the event of a major storm or a natural disaster disrupting fuel production in the Gulf of Mexico or refining in Texas and Louisiana. Credit issues are also impacting the energy market. Energy traders have been requesting additional liquidity from central bankers for several months, but their requests have been denied. This has resulted in a resurgence of credit issues as prices begin to rise again. The lack of funds available to traders may also exacerbate the financial impact of a potential extreme weather event. Many people may have to decide between heating their homes and affording food this winter due to higher prices. The current situation in the UK serves as a warning for the US the maximum amount that British individuals can pay annually for electricity and gas has increased from 1,100 pounds approximately $1,300 to £4,300, pounds, approximately $5,086. This is the largest increase seen between 1973 and 2022 and may lead to a severe recession in the UK that continues. This winter, many families in the US are at risk of falling into energy poverty, with 20% of households, or one in four, behind on their energy bills. Millions of people may lose power during the time when a reliable energy source is most needed. Contrary to the belief of Bradshaw, Felicut does not think that political efforts in the coming months will be able to address the limited supply of electricity, gas, and oil. In some cases, governments may implement interventions to distribute scarce resources, despite their poor track record. Prices are unlikely to improve as a result. Instead, the chaotic market conditions caused by high energy prices over the next six months may lead to a financial failure in the energy system, similar to the subprime mortgage lending crisis in 2008. Felica stated, we're going to have a lot of money problems because the energy situation is getting worse. The winter of 2022 to 2023 looks like it will be the one from hell added that we will all have to cope with the impact of this crisis. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more videos from our channel, subscribe and make sure to turn on the bell icon.